In this video, I'll show you different ways you can bridge funds to the Blast blockchain from any chain with minimal fees. There's many bridges available, so let's go over the fastest, easiest, cheapest options I know of, and let's jump right in. Welcome back to RankFi, where we explore crypto together. So you wanna to bridge to the Blast layer two. The prerequisites you're gonna need are a MetaMask wallet or any EVM wallet. And number two, your wallet needs to have some Ethereum on it. Doesn't matter which chain, but you're gonna need a EVM wallet and some Ethereum on it. So after those prerequisites, then you need to choose a crypto bridge. There's a few options and I will put all of the official links in the description of this video, but I recommend using RhinoFi. That's the bridge I've been using and I think it is the best option right now. If you're unfamiliar with RhinoFi, it's a layer two bridging protocol. They have $2 billion in volume, almost 50 million total transactions and over a million accounts. I also like it because it's fast and it's cheap. You would click the link to RhinoFi, connect your crypto wallet. And as you can see here, they support lots of different layer two networks. So you can send funds to Blast from Ethereum, Polygon, Linea, Base, uh, you name it. They have most of the popular networks here. And you can send to Blast in about 60 seconds. And at the time of this video, they're also waiving all fees to Blast for the launch of their mainnet, which is perfect. So you can bridge funds to Blast to blast for free basically you're just playing the destination network fee so how do you use it it's very easy you're just going to connect your crypto wallet and then select the network you want to send from so i have funds on arbitrum so i'm going to click arbitrum obviously make sure you have blast selected that's where the funds are going let me send over 0.05 eth click this bridge button it's going to switch the network in my wallet to arbitrum and i'll show you another option after this Click switch network. Now it wants me to approve it in my wallet. Now the gas fee is 68 cents from Arbitrum. I'm gonna click confirm and success. And it will update your balance in about 23 seconds. And I'll fast forward here once it's complete. And boom, I fast forwarded only like 15 seconds that took and the funds are now on the Blast blockchain in my wallet. If you wanna send funds back to Arbitrum or wherever, you can use the same bridge to send funds back. Now the other option you have is to use the official Blast bridge. So you can go to blast.io, click this bridge tab, and then send funds over to the Blast Layer 2 network. Now the problem with this is it only supports Ethereum mainnet. So the gas fees will be a lot higher. So if I connect my wallet here, yeah, there will be an estimated fee of $80, which is absolutely crazy. But that's another option you have as well if you want to use the native bridge from the team, but they only support the Ethereum mainnet. But overall, the process is super easy, just like any other bridge. I like to use RhinoFine now. Once you have funds on Blast, you probably want to start interacting with different protocols, chasing airdrops, whatever it is. You can go to this URL here, defilama.com, blah, 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 slash Blast. Scroll down here and see a lot of the top protocols filtered by TVL so you can see what's the biggest right now. And there's different uh, lending protocols, spot DEXs, etc. Once you're on Blast, you probably want to convert your Ethereum to USDB. For a lot of the protocols, you'll want to have some USDB. Now you can swap that on one of the DEXs. There's Ring Exchange, there's Thruster.Finance. But again, you can find all of that on DeFi Llama. And if you're unfamiliar with Blast so far, it's an Ethereum layer two. And once you have funds on here, you will natively start earning yield for ETH and stable coins. The mainnet just launched this month and you can click this airdrop tab here. I'll put a link in the description. And if you scroll down, you can find a bunch of different projects with potential airdrops here. You can also check out my channel for a Sin Futures airdrop guide and a Blast airdrop guide coming soon. And I will put my invite codes down below because once you visit this page, you will need an invite code if my invite code isn't working, you can also go to X slash Twitter and just search blast invite code, filter by latest and find somebody's code and enter that. Again, all the official links can be found in the description with step-by-step -step guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.